Hi, I'm Julie Zwillick. I'm here at La Costa. It's a beautiful, sprawling resort with a golf course, a spa, lots of shopping, and it's also home to the Chopra Center, a place famous for blending the healing arts of the East and modern Western medicine. I'm kind of new to all this stuff, but I'm really excited. I've learned that an important part of Ayurvedic health is diet and nutrition, and the chef here at La Costa is an expert. Let's go meet him. Hi. Hi, Julie. How Welcome. You doing? I'm Teresa. Nice to meet you, Teresa. And this is chef Greg Fry Jr. Hey, hey, Chef. How are you? Thank you. Good to meet you Good too. To Thank you. Nice and this hungry. Looks great. Oh yeah, I'm always hungry. <laughs> So welcome to La Costa to the Blue Fire Grill. Uh, Chef Greg is going to show us how you can easily go home and prepare a really great Ayurvedic dish using these beautiful ingredients. Great. So I brought one of our dishes that we have on our menu, which is our lentils made with coconut and lemongrass. Yum. Lentils you can find just about any grocery store you go to. Yep. We'll start off with a little bit of olive oil in our saute pan. Now the lentils I've already cooked previously with a little veg stock and some kefir lime leaves. And we're going to throw these in and just start to get these sauteed. I got a beautiful black little color on this. Now, I love to throw in lots of vegetables in with this. So, we got some of our chopped fresh farmer's market vegetables, snap peas, carrots, cauliflower. In Ayurveda, we kind of talk a little bit more about infusing plant-based diet, and then all meals should include the six tastes. Every meal should include the six tastes? Um, as much as possible. And when you get a nice round of the six tastes, you're really getting a good variety of different vitamins and minerals, also flavors. What's well, astringent? Um, astringent and bitter kind of are the same um, kind of categories, mm -hmm. uh, whereas bitter and astringent foods are more like the dark greens like kale, chard, broccoli, cauliflower. There are more fruits in the astringent like cranberries, pomegranates, because you don't want to bite into them. Yes. It kind of has that drying effect. Yes. So bitter and astringent really work where they're detoxifying the body. They're also helping to um, dry out accumulated fats and fluids out of our system to really help us eliminate things that are not nurturing anymore. The next thing we're going to put in is some uh, dragon sauce. And this is uh, Thai chilies, mint, uh, ginger, mm. garlic, and a nice, wait, nice and spicy. Wait, put a little more of that yeah, in. Yeah, all right, let's go. So I learned that I sort of fall in a pitta dosha. What would you um, recommend? Definitely for, for pitta, cooling foods like more like melons, astringent, bitter, and then just a little bit less of the other taste, the pungent, which you called spicy content. I love spicy food. But those, I'm like the Tabasco person. If it's not hot enough, I'm like... More heat? I just carry it in my purse. Well, and that's fine. You can, <laughs> see, <laughs> you can still have a little bit of that, so it's not a lot. Because remember, you already have that pungent fire as a pitta component. So if you're putting more, you're just adding more fuel to the fire. Here I've got a little smoked chili oil. Yes. Ooh, that's beautiful. It kind of glows on the plate. Yeah. Lots of pretty little colors. <laughs> Don't mind me watching. No? Okay. <laughs> Let's do that. Oh, that's good. Coconutty. It does have some spice to it's it. spice wow. to it. Yeah. That's good. You know what I love? The beets, you put them in raw, they weren't pre-cooked, mm -hmm. so they're crunchy and crispy and than, delicious rather than soft and mushy. Rather than jelly or yeah. jelly, yeah. yeah. Good dish should not just be fitting for your taste buds. Right. It should be fitting for your soul, fitting for your life, fitting for your mind. It seems like a lot to think about when you're preparing a dish. Something like garlic, it actually has five tastes. Um, the beets have astringent and sweet. So when you're having a meal, you know, you can really simplify it, knowing that a lot of these foods do have two or more tastes. Oh, good. Chef, yeah, thank you. Very that welcome. That is so delicious. Great to meet you both. All right, thank you for making this beautiful meal for us. Chef Greg made an amazing lentil coconut dish for us, and Teresa taught me a lot more about Ayurveda cooking, incorporating the five flavors. Seems pretty easy to take home. Let's see what's next. Exhaling as you move back. Oh, you make it look like a dancer. Did they tell you I'm 250 years old? No, they didn't tell me. As I was studying your chart, I, I thought to myself, there's really no accident when you're being here at the Chopra Center.